One of the country's wealthiest gay activists is in Denver unveiling his national strategy. Tim Gill's message, support pro-homosexual state lawmakers and eliminate the others. Heather Sells reported on Gill's growing influence back in April and has more now on his rare public appearance. Every single advancement in gay rights has been made at the state level. There is no example of something that was done at the federal level and then the states went, gosh, we should have done that. Coloradan Tim Gill not only has a philosophy of political activism, he has the money to back it. The founder of a publishing software giant, he's given millions to gay causes. In 2004, he helped Democrats seize control of the Colorado State House for the first time in 30 years. A slew of gay-friendly laws followed. In 2006, he orchestrated $15 million worth of donations to favored candidates and causes across the country. The payoff wins in 50 of 70 targeted campaigns and power changes in four state houses. But despite his success, Gill likes to stay under the radar. He rarely grants interviews or speaks in public. Gill's speech here rallied the crowd with his bold calls for action. He asked the caucus to help him flip more state legislatures, and he used spiritual language, saying we're in a fight for the soul of the Republican Party. The Republican Party is controlled by a bunch of bigots, and the only way the bigots are going to learn is if we take their power away from them. The very most important thing you can do is go back and support those pro-gay state legislators, eliminate the anti-gay state legislators. Gill urged the delegates to stretch their dollars by giving to pro-gay lawmakers in rural states. Just a little bit of money goes a long way. I'll tell you that $500 or $1,000 in Wyoming goes a lot farther than $500 or $1,000 in L.A. where it's like probably not even the price of my bottle of wine. Perhaps even more candidly, he acknowledged some frustration with his inability so far to defeat Colorado Congresswoman Marilyn Musgrave. Musgrave sponsored the federal marriage amendment. There are people that I think that are absolutely terrible, and no matter how much I spend on them, they're still going to be elected. And I am afraid to say that a Mar Marilyn Musgrave might be one of those although we're going to give it another shot this election cycle. Gill did cite one state where he's working right now, New York. There, as CBN News previously reported, many expect the Democrats to take control of both chambers this fall, paving the way for a gay marriage bill. But Gill kept quiet about other states and refused to talk with CBN News. Mr. Gill, I'm Heather Sells with CBN News. Could I ask you a couple of questions about your speech? I'm no. talking to the press today. Gill's speech marks a rare public appearance by the man who not only has had a major influence in crafting a national strategy to advance gay rights, but who is providing the funding necessary to make it happen as well. Heather Sells, CBN News in Denver. Patty sounds determined. What do you think about his strategy? Well, I think it's extremely effective. He's uh, realized that a little bit of money in a state race can <clears throat> can flip these legislatures. It do doesn't take much in a legislative uh, race, tightly fought, uh, to win one or the other. And you see, everybody who believes in marriage as a relationship between a man and a woman is a bigot, according to him. Everybody who thinks homosexuality is a sin is a bigot. And so the uh, Republicans are, quote, controlled by bigots. And he wants gay-friendly legislation all the way across, which essentially would demean marriage any way you possibly can. And <clears throat> that is the Gill agenda. But this Cork has made a lot of money, and he's able to spend $15 million in races last year or the year before, and he's going to gear up some more. So, folks, that's what you're up against, and it's nice to see the, quote, face of the enemy, because <clears throat> he is... is uh, joining with a lot of others, but the, left's, the left is gaining enormous control, especially the Democratic Party. They, they're, they're moving into this agenda, and uh, the thing is, there's no civilization that in history that has ever survived when it embraces homosexuality as opposed to marriage between men and women. Once that happens, civilization is going to spin out of control. It's happened before, it'll happen again. And uh, it's not bigotry to say, look at history, 
That's what happened.